Good evening. And thank you to the person who decided that I would go after Amanda <laughs> Gorman. I mean, Lord have mercy. How fantastic. Um, I'll put this here. So thank you, Claudia and Michelle and everyone at Variety for having me. I'm really pleased to be here tonight. Um, and allow me to just quote from an artwork that galvanizes me often and that came to mind today as I thought about the woman that I am here to honor. It is written by the great poet Gwendolyn Brooks as follows. Run. People are coming. They must not catch us here, definitionless in this strict atmosphere. Definitionless in this strict atmosphere. It can describe many things, many people. Tonight it describes the great Channing Dungey. <laughs> Channing and I share common threads in our lives. We're both California natives. We are both the eldest of our siblings. We both attended UCLA. Go Bruins. We both worked on Scandal. She was an, a creative executive and I was a first time episodic director. And Channing and I both know a little something about firsts. She's amassed a few that have set trails ablaze and ensured that others don't have to knock down the doors that she's already opened so beautifully. I'll throw out just a couple of the doors she's ripped off their hinges. They were said earlier, but it bears repeating, and I ask you to think about what it took to be the first black executive to be named entertain entertainment president of a broadcast television network. Don't just, Let's not just throw it out. Just think of the steps. Think of the rooms. Think of the battles. Think of what it took to, to get up every day and step towards that goal. Um, she's also the first woman chairperson of Warner Brothers Television. Uh, it's dazzling to me. While Channing is a champion for artists and creators, she's also an advocate for underprivileged families through her work with Children's Institute, and she empowers young girls through her role in Step Up. Bottom line is, she is a powerful force, but her power does not lie in force. It lies in her intelligence, her class, her fierce advocacy for artists before corporate politics, her savvy handling of situations with strategy and elevated elegance. She shows us how truly dynamic power can be when you don't need force because you have grace. Because you have grace. And in this industry, this strict atmosphere, that is what it means to be definitionless, to go beyond their definition and chart your own course. Chart your own course. I'm fortunate that I have the opportunity to work closely with her and to be artistically supported by her, and I'm thrilled to present her tonight as a Variety 2021 Power of Women honoree. I mean, you, I am humbled by those words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'd like to thank Variety and Lifetime for this wonderful honor and for their commitment to all the important causes that are being championed here tonight. And I want to take a moment to congratulate all my fellow honorees, Amanda, Katie, Lord, and Rita. You are an extraordinary group of women with a truly diverse range of talents, and I'm delighted to be sharing this evening with you. Now, I want to let you all in on a little secret which is that while receiving tonight's honor is incredibly exciting, I have actually been a woman of power for quite some time. <laughs> 16 years, as a matter of fact, since the day I married my husband, Scott Power. <laughs> Scott is here with me tonight, and I want to thank him, not just for giving me his name and his heart, but also for his unwavering support. I would not be standing on this stage without his love and his partnership. Thank you, Scotty. But power is more than just my married name. I did a little research, and it turns out that the word power derives from the Latin word imperium, meaning to be able. Think about that. We are all able. By that definition, 
All of us are powerful. We all have power. So why then lately do I sometimes find myself feeling powerless? Today, we live in a country where our neighbors can no longer agree on a common set of truths. We live in a world where people are more likely to believe information that they learn from social media than is reported on the news. Here and around the world, the very idea of democracy is being challenged. Women are being deprived of their fundamental rights. Racial and ethnic groups are facing discrimination and persecution at alarming rates. And climate change now truly affects us all. So yes, sometimes I do feel powerless. And I imagine that I'm not alone in that. So what does it really mean then to be a woman of power? And how can we use that power to affect the change that we need to see in the world? It's not lost on me that I am here where I am today, that I'm where I am in my career because of the strong and powerful women who blazed the trails and shattered the ceilings before my time in this business. Women who proved that power could be more than strength or dominance or authority, who showed me that power can also mean inspiring others and leading by example and affecting positive change and doing so with kindness, compassion, and empathy. Now, I was lucky enough as a young woman in this business to be mentored by women who taught me that if we are in a position of power, it is our obligation and our responsibility to empower others. I am here today thanks to people who helped me successfully navigate my early days in the business, who helped me learn and grow, and gave me the opportunity to find my voice. So I think tonight is about more than celebrating the power of women. It's also about recognizing and celebrating the importance of empowering each other. And that is how growth and change can be created. And that will endure and continue to transform this industry. And that is how we can reinvigorate our communities and from there change our world for the better. Now, I see this happening at the Children's Institute, an organization that I am honored to be associated with as a member of the Board of Trustees. And I love it when I get to visit the Institute's preschools in Watts and have the chance to spend some time with the children. They are all bright and eager and curious and they have so much potential. They're ready to learn and nurturing that spark at an early age is so critical. When I was a child, I skipped a grade because I was bright and I was an avid reader, but I wasn't being challenged in school. And I was fortunate enough to have had a teacher who realized this, who opened my eyes to the power of learning and taught me how to focus my intellect. I wouldn't be the student I became without his guidance and inspiration. He empowered me and he truly changed the course of my life. And that's what the early learning programs at the Children's Institute help to provide. They empower children and put them on a path to a better future. Their work is changing lives and I'm thrilled to support them in doing it. And the truth is, all of us have the ability to change lives for the better. We all have the power to empower others. Each year, the Children's Institute positively changes the lives of 30,000 disadvantaged children and families all across Los Angeles, from Echo Park to Watts to Long Beach. And we focus on neighborhoods where underinvestment and racist policies continue to limit opportunities. And because we know that a child's ability to succeed is deeply connected to the health of their family, we work with multiple generations, parents and grandparents, and entire communities. We listen to them. We give them the tools that they need to thrive, empowering them to grow and to persevere. Education is power. Knowledge is power. And I believe that if we want to change the world, if we really want to make a difference, it starts with education and teaching and mentorship, be it in this industry or in your local community. And as the parent of two young children, a daughter and a son, I try to model this behavior for them every day. Be a mentor. Set a good example. Use your power to help others. The inimitable Toni Morrison wrote, if you are free, you need to free someone else. If you are empowered, then your job is to empower someone else. Now, sometimes the problems and the challenges in this world can seem overwhelming, and that can make any of us feel powerless at times. But remember, the word power means to be able. We are all able to act. We are all able to lead. We are all able to inspire. We are all powerful. So use your power and make a difference in this world. Thank you again for this incredible honor.